Okay, so not a good sign here as I go to check on our storm that's going north of Dover. It's rebounding. Okay, this storm uh, is uh, it's looking like it's got a lot of uh, rotation there right south of Bumpus Mills. And I think that this thing's going to continue to tornado all the way into Kentucky. So here we go again. All right, it, this is coming right for Oak Grove. Uh, once again, here's Dover. All right. Uh, and this is going to the north and east. Uh, south. It's going to go south of Lafayette. It's probably going to go right through Fort Campbell. All right, big tornado here. South and west of Lafayette, right near the border of Kentucky and Tennessee. That, that's a strong tornado once again. Uh, you can see the correlation coefficient drop there south and west of Lafayette. This looks like it's also floating a little bit further north than what, uh, than what we originally thought. It's kind of getting caught up in its own uh, inflow there and, and moving a little bit further north. So I would um, I would watch out if, you're, if I'm in Lafayette. I would watch out. Okay, it looked originally like maybe this would go off to your south, but now I'm thinking maybe not. Okay, so if you're in Lafayette there, right past the border of Tennessee and Kentucky, you got to go. You got to go get in your safe spot right now. Lafayette is this big. Not even. It's population -wise. By the way, the new warnings that they issued were PDS warnings. All right, let's go ahead and read off those new warnings. Uh, the National Weather Service has issued a uh, tornado warning for Bumpus Mills, Big Rock, Tennessee, until 12.30 a.m. CST. Uh, that is a particularly dangerous situation. Seek shelter now. 82,000 people are in the path of this storm, the biggest uh, population area being Big Rock. Uh, you know, once again, it's been, there's been so many tornadoes, um, it's been impossible to keep up. This has been one of the most prolific uh, tornado situations I've ever seen. Ever seen. Um, the tornado is just now crossing over the border. It just now became in Kentucky. Okay. okay. It, it was, was in Tennessee, Tennessee and now it's in Kentucky. Kentucky. It's so screaming up towards Lafayette. I mentioned that it looks like it, it looked like it was going to go towards Lafayette about what about 20 minutes ago or something. Uh, so hopefully everybody in Lafayette got in their safe spot. It's going across Angels Road. Okay, so if you live down here, you know what Angels Road is. Okay, it's that road that shit parallels did. the Kentucky Tennessee border. Um, I think that the uh, tornado has passed Angels Road on the south, uh, southern side of Lafayette, and then it's going to uh, parallel the old Clarksville Pike. The old That's Clarksville their house. Pike, is um, on that. All the way over is his house? Bodies Whose house is this? House? This is a big farm uh, district, farm region. Uh, before you get into the greater uh, Fort Campbell area, all right. So I do not want to sleep fine. inside. That's fine. Just um, all right, inside. I'm going to Me turn too. back around now. Scared. You like it here? Yeah. You guys know, okay, if we got people watching in this general vicinity, and hopefully we do, you guys know where all this stuff is. This is the stuff that could be directly impacted by a large, violent, damaging tornado. Uh, imminently, okay, this is not, we're not talking about an hour from now, we're not talking about 30 minutes from now, we're talking about, uh, you know, minutes. So, if you live out here, please, please, take shelter now. And this is a very, very strong area of rotation. I'm not sad, I'm happy. It's just really overwhelming because there was a tornado on a track one mile away from our house. I'm just really grateful it's all still here. Lafayette, Kentucky only has 135 souls in this little town. And to hear I'm sorry guys, there's a lot that I have not emotionally dealt with, with this storm. To hear our little town, <laughs> the name of it over and over and over and saying this is a big, wide, destructive tornado. I didn't know if there would be anything left. Guys, there's maybe two stop signs in the center of town. This is an extremely small space. 
I also want to send out a huge thank you to Ryan Hall, y'all, the YouTube channel. And Ryan Hall, the meteorologist, weather watcher, storm seeker, I'm not sure of his official title, but Ryan Hall was live for 11 hours doing full coverage of this crazy tornado outbreak. And he had us getting in our storm shelter literally 20 minutes before our NOAA weather radio went off letting us know of the danger. That was valuable time that we needed to collect our kids and get out to the shelter before any real rain, wind, or anything hit. It was so valuable to be able to have him with us for this. So if you're not subscribed to the Ryan Hall, y'all, YouTube channel, I'm gonna link that in the description below. This is definitely a guy you want on your side when the weather is worrying you. Hey y'all, it's me, Ryan Hall. A couple months later, this is March 9th when I'm filming this, it's taken me this long to get to this recap video. Uh, but I just wanted to throw in a little snippet here and say huge thank you to the people who made this video. I'll have a link to their channel down in the description if you wanna go check their uh, channel out, they do vlogs. But thank you so much for posting this. And I, I'm not kidding when I say this, you're the reason, that video is the reason why I have uh, completely dedicated myself to the channel now. We've hired people. We are going above and beyond turning uh, the, the YouTube streams into something that I believe is gonna be incredibly valuable for people uh, as long as we do this. But the first time I saw this video was the first time that I really realized how incredibly important what we're doing is um, and you know, once again, I've decided to really expand it and try to make it even better. So thank you guys. I'm glad you're okay. And, uh, just a great, great video. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Woo.